Hello students, welcome to Mr. Losio's virtual class. We are now on unit one. Okay, part C. Do you play sports? Now let's practice the vocabulary, sports and exercise. All right. These people are very active. Match the sentences on the pictures. Then listen and check your answers. Okay, now let's listen to the VOCA. Lesson C. Do you play sports? Page 10. Exercise 1. Vocabulary. Sports and exercise. They bowl. E. They ski. I. They swim. G. They play baseball. F. They play golf. C. They play table tennis. A. They do gymnastics. D. They do karate. B. They do yoga. H. Okay. Very good. So now we have to talk about these different sports, right? And we, here we have the, the answers. They bowl, they ski, they swim, they play baseball, they play golf, they play table tennis, they do gymnastics, they do karate, and they do yoga, okay? So you can check the answers, all right, and complete on your books. Now, let's continue, please. Which sports and exercise in part A do you do? Tell your partner. For example, I swing and play baseball. Now, let's listen to the conversation, okay? Uh, ski sail. Listen and practice. Let's listen to the audio. Page 10, Exercise 2, Conversation, A Ski Sail, Part A. Can I help you? Yes, thank you. I want something for my boyfriend. It's his birthday tomorrow. Okay. What sports does he like? Does he play baseball? No, he doesn't. How about table tennis? You can play together. No, we don't really like table tennis. Well, does he ski? Yes, he skis all the time. Do you sell skis? Yes, we do. And there's a ski sale right now. Great! Okay, now you have to practice this dialogue between Clark and Gina, all right? And then you have to answer, uh, where are Gina and her boyfriend? Okay, where are they? Right? They are probably in a souvenir store, right? And they are talking about different sports. Okay. So now we have to continue on the next page on the grammar part. But first, we are going to watch a video about the simple present grammar. All right. Simple present tense grammar, affirmative, negative, and interrogative. The simple present is used to show repetition, habit, or generalization. It's a regular or true action. Examples For repeated or regular actions. Helen works eight hours a day. For facts. The President of the United States of America lives in the White House. For habits. I get up early every day. 
For things that are always true, it always snows in winter. Verb conjugation and spelling. Subject, verb, and complement. I with you day speak English at home. He, she, it speaks English at home. In general, in the third person, we add S to the verb. For verbs ending in O, CH, SH, double S, X, and Z, add ES. For verbs that end in a consonant plus Y, remove Y and add I E S. Negative sentences in the simple present. To make a negative sentence in English, we normally use don't or doesn't. Examples You speak French. You don't speak French. He speaks Italian. He doesn't speak Italian. What order of negative sentences? I with you day don't. Don't have cereal for breakfast. He, she, it doesn't. Doesn't have cereal for breakfast. Questions in the simple present tense. To make an interrogative sentence in English, we normally use do or does. Examples. You speak French. Do you speak French? He speaks Italian. Does he speak Italian? What are there for interrogative sentences? We use do with I, we, you, and they and does with he, she, it. Short answers with do or does. Example, do you like chocolate? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Thank you very much. Okay, now that we have watched the video, let's listen to these uh, simple rules. Page 11, Exercise 3, Grammar, Simple Present. What sports do you like? I like golf and karate. I don't like basketball. What sports does he play? He plays soccer. He doesn't play baseball. Where do they do yoga? They do yoga at home. They don't do yoga in the park. Do you sell skis? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Does he play baseball? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Do they like table tennis? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Okay. Now we have to complete these exercises, right? Complete the paragraph with the simple present forms of the verbs. 
For example, every year over a thousand men and women compete in the Hawaiian Ironman Triathlon. A triathlon have or has? Yes, has three parts, but it negative. It doesn't have three winners. The person with the best time for the for the three races win or wins. Person singular wins. They swim for 386 kilometers and bike for 180 kilometers and then run for 42.2 kilometers. The winner gets a hundred thousand dollars. Now let's check it out the answers. Yes, there you have, right? Compete, has, doesn't have, wins, swim, bike, run, and gets. Okay, you have to study the rules to understand uh, the affirmative and negative form of the simple present. Yes? Now, let's go to part B. On part B, we have an exercise that is very simple. Put the words in order and then ask and answer the questions using your own information. All right? So you have to put in order these sentences and they are very simple. All right? Let's check it out the answers. Yes? Okay, there we have the answer, right? Do you play soccer on the weekend? What sports does your family like? Where does your best friend exercise? And do your friends bowl on the weekends? All right. So you have to write these sentences in the correct form here on your books. In the fourth part, it says speaking. So you have to practice this dialogue. Is it, do you play sports on the weekend? If the answer is yes, what sports do you play? If the answer is no, what do you do on the weekend? And then you have to continue, right? Do you watch sports on TV? Yes, what sports do you watch? Okay, or what do you watch on TV, etc. All right. Okay, so that's all for the lesson of today. And now you have to work on your workbooks, right? You have to solve your workbooks. Now let's go to your workbooks. Yes. All right. So here you have to solve your workbooks on part C. Yes, do you play sports? You have to do all these exercises. Exercise three. Exercise 4, 5, 6, and 7. That is your homework, students. All right. Thank you very much for watching. And see you soon. Bye-bye.